Hello, so welcome to this video for Comp3218, Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. My name is Dave Millard, I'm one of the lecturers on the course, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Callum, and I'm one of the demonstrators on the course. So we're going to have a look at a couple of student games in this video. Um, the students were asked to submit something which had a, a clear core dynamic, um, and which also had a tutorial element. Um, so we've got a big variety of games, so it'll be interesting to see what they've done. So let's have a look at our first game, which I believe is called Squarefall. Yeah, simple little animated front screen. Got a play button, yeah. tutorial button. Let me there you go, minimize minimize you at the bottom there. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, looks good. So I yeah. think if I was to be very nitpicky, uh, there's not there's not a great contrast between the title and the background, so that could potentially be a bit of an accessibility thing. But, but I've got very nitpicky. And I, and I like that. I like a little bit of animation on my uh, my menu screens. It's nice. Um, mm. We've got play or tutorial. So I guess we'll hit tutorial to, to kick off. Here we go. Left and right. Yeah. Uh, what do you think I should be doing? Um... I guess. <laughs> can you push? Can you push the walls? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Do you know what? Do you know what's happening there? I was using the WAS keys. I wasn't a ah, So they okay. were. So the controls for for the for WSD were working, but their tutorial only picks up when you hit the actual keys. That's. Um. So so I'm I'm automatic. I think it's a, 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 oh, game over. So I kind of automatically started picking up the white stuff. Um, mm. Not entirely sure why. Perhaps because I'm a big white square and they're little white squares. Let's try the tutorial. Again. Yeah, I guess. So, I mean, it did say right. to collect twenty coins, so I suppose we've just got white coins. Oh, that, yeah, the white circles. In fact, aren't they? There we go. Um, oh, it says wallet in the top corner, I think, okay, not so valet. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's just sl slightly off. Yes. So we've already discovered if you hit the angry black balls, you die. Yeah. Is there any uh, consequence to me missing <clears throat> the white ones? Uh, I think you just, um, you, go. You, you're, you're, you have a smaller wallet. So is this the game proper, do you think? Um, so I know from uh, playing this in the expo that this is the game proper, um, but it's not entirely clear from that, from the start. No. Clear on that, rather. So I presume if I hit that, I die, but it's not clear that's the yeah. case. Let me try. Should we yes. jump straight into the tutorial part of the uh, brief, given that we've just done the tutorial? Um, uh, yeah, go on then. Why not? So, as as we've seen, I think I think like two big points here is that there are two parts of the mechanics that are straight up not explained in the tutorial. Um, so when we get into the game proper, there yeah. is the big purple spikes that we never see here. No. And there's also the shop, which isn't explained and is kind of confusing as to how it works the shop um, yeah I don't know if you noticed that when you were playing through last no um, so what happens is a big dollar sign appears at the bottom and then after a few seconds it fires a gold yeah. ball uh, straight up the screen and if you catch that ball it takes you to the shop well okay well tell you what let's let's play this through a bit because I, I think kind of I'd like to see what the game is, and then we can kind of sure. have, a, have an assessment of, of kind of how much of the tutorial is is covered. So I find just playing it. I, one of the things I find a bit weird is I'm in the middle of the screen, but I'm going down. So yeah. like I it'd feel it would be much more natural to be at the top of the screen. Oops. I don't know how far I can be able to get um. on this. I can, I can, yeah, I can, it would certainly give you more time to react to things. I can understand why they've done it. So you've kind of 
yes you've got so you've got less time to react i suppose but it just feels very unnatural it's weird it feels mm -hmm. like half my screen estate's not being used for anything because once it's behind yeah. me it doesn't matter ah there was a yellow ball went up the screen yeah i didn't see where it came from though it just sort of appeared Oh. Yeah, that's that's the other thing is because um, they put the indicator for that right at the bottom with the uh, big dollar yeah. set. I suppose that like if you were to do that, then having the player further up would maybe make that even harder to spot. So I guess that might be why it's near the middle, so you can see those prompts along the bottom more clearly. I, did, I didn't even see it. So where did it? Where does it appear? R like right along the bottom edge. So so uh, my my focus is on. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, so there it's right on the left. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, so my focus is on the um, <clears throat> on the square. Yeah. It's funny. It's like it's surprising how easy it is to get distracted <laughs> and hit something. Mm -hmm. um, let's see how far we can get. I want to see some different different bits to this. So we've got. Fortunately. Got... Fortunately, we haven't seen any of the bouncing balls yet. Ah, so here's my shot. Hey. Uh, one extra hit before death. Not enough coins. Not enough coins. So that's a bit annoying that they're all the same price. Mm. You'd think there will be a, some bad things that I might actually be able to to get. Yeah. Um, and looking at the upgrades, you know, we've got the shield, which just gives you an extra hit before you die. Um, yeah. But then the next one, the time skip, uh, oh. just straight up adds 15 points to your score. Yeah, um, which yeah, is that's... helpful, but I'm not sure that it's um, yeah, it's that useful. Let me let me have one more go. Oh, that's interesting, I, rather, because I wasn't getting very far, and I think mm. if, as soon as I get a bit further, then we start seeing some more interesting stuff. So I can't afford that anyway, so I'm gonna ignore that. So I got a sort of a weird thing that sprayed me with bullets, I guess. I mm. Yeah. Not entirely sure. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So it is quite playable, I have to say. I'm kind of mm. quite eager to have another go. It's got a certain something to it. It's got a certain sort of flappy birdness about it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Where you, um, where you, where you uh, yeah, just one, <clears throat> just one more go, you know. Right, I'm, just, I'm gonna see if I can get past this twirly whirly thing, and then, assuming I, well, whether I can or can't, we should probably start. Ah, oh, that's actually quite hard. It does have, uh, it does have quite a large area of effect. Yes. So, it's, it's a, it's a very difficult obstacle. Let's, let's start going through from the beginning. Okay, because so um, yeah, so we we start off with presentation, I guess. Yeah, so that's the information design, graphics, and audio. I'll have to leave the audio to your so uh, the, judgment, as I can't hear any of it. The audio is pretty effective. They've got a kind of little tune going. Every time I collect something, there's a sound. When I die, there's an appropriate bonging sort of sound. Okay, um, well that they've definitely achieved satisfactory then. So with what, some what, audio effects and music. Yeah, what would good be? Uh, good would be complementary audio effects and music. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's uh, if if one of the black balls spawns near the spikes, uh, they bounce off of the spike and will travel around. Uh, Great. Which um, is interesting. And although it, at first glance it seems like it might be a bug, but it does add some depth and complexity to the gameplay so yeah it does yeah. even if it was originally a blood bug it's um it's now a feature ah, now i can afford something i'm gonna have one, hey. ext one extra hit before death please <clears throat> on, the, on the unlikely event that i need it <laughs> mm. um yeah so where were we so the sound i think what would what would good be uh good is complementary audio effects and music um i, th I think it's good I mean, it's quite it kind of fits Oops. Okay. Um, so then, excellent would be complementary and appealing. I wouldn't say they're kind of appealing. They're kind of they're very simple, but they're effective. Yeah. See, there I kind of. I think one of the problems with those things is that you have to make a decision 
Oh, mm. we might have a bug here. At least we'll get to see oh. what else is on the level, I suppose. <laughs> uh, ah, ah, it's because I had a shield. Ah, so, so you got caught. So um, I got caught, but then I got caught on the spike, and the spike took me off the top of the screen. So I wasn't dead. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. So that's a bug. Um, so yeah, so I think for music, I think I think good. Mm. Um, for for graphics, I think it's kind of um, it's a simple simple graphics, but it's it's consistent. It all it works. It is consistent. I, I, I don't know that it's effective though. So well, what would what would um, what would good be? Uh, good would be consistent and effective graphics. And I think there are there are two main um, points here that I think. Um, First of all, the coins being white, and the walls being white, and the character being white. I think make it, particularly with the coins, I think it makes it a little bit hard. Although you could argue this is more an information design thing than a graphics thing. Uh, yes. It makes it, it, it's not as obvious what they are at first. Yeah, I think we'll come to that under information design. Okay. I, I think in, um, terms, in terms of the graphics themselves, I, so uh, I, I think they're effect, I mean, they're clear, you can see what's going on. Again, um, like the 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 one argument I have against this is those spikes, which again the purple does not contrast that well with the background. No, that's true. Um, you know, you could make the argument that that's like part of the intended difficulty, but I don't think it's I, I don't think it's I, I don't think it works well, and it seems um, again. Given there's quite a lot going on already, I think that you know hiding it from the more information from the player seems a bit uh, rude. Yeah. Oh, oh that's. Yeah, it's it's um, you get some weird effects where if you hit something, <clears throat> it sends you spinning, but if you have <clears throat> a shield, it still sends you. So that that's definitely a problem. So uh, well, I do, I I agree with you. There there are some minor issues. So maybe halfway between satisfactory and good for graphics. Okay. Um, and then I guess we're we're looking at, um, <clears throat> at information design, and and yeah. there it's your sort of you were saying about the kind of well, what information design is have we got? So we've got we've got the score mm. and your the amount of coins you and your, have and your wallet. Oh, um, I think that might have been a, you've got you you. The I think. What you're really saying about the colours is that they seem to be a bit inconsistent, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, you. And although although everything that's white is kind of on your side, right? So the walls I can bang into, I can collect the coins, and everything. I suppose. I mean, the one exception being, oh, the one exception being the um, uh, being the shop, which is yellow. Yeah. Um, but but again, it, it makes you think a more sensible one would have been to, mm. to make the coins yellow. Yeah, because make... also you know the wallet is the text for that is is it's yellow. Like yellow. Yeah. So everything that's collectible is yellow, right? Yeah. Um, and then make the make the make the um, yeah make make the shop a bit different in terms of you know what it shoots out, make it a different shape or a bigger shape or something, but still yellow. So, so, I, so I there's nothing horrendously wrong with the information design. I think it's all on screen, but it's just not quite as coherent as it could be. Yeah. Um, and also it's sort of tucked up in the corner there, so it's actually quite hard to see. So that sounds like so for good we've got all key information is shown. Excellent is all key information is shown clearly. So that sounds like it's it's out of good. I think I'd agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's... So the next thing then is meaningful play. That's the mechanics, the controls, and the bugs. Oh. So so we've already spotted what seems to be a couple of bugs. Yeah. So on the bugs front, I I think what we have is is a f sort of infrequent minor bugs, which I I think is can't remember. Is that satisfactory? Uh, infrequent minor bugs would be. Uh, well, uh, good would be re if the game is reasonably complex, and there are freak infrequent minor bugs. Yeah, I, I, th um, I think it's just about there. The complexity is on the low side, but 
but you mm. know, there's there's some elements. There's there's different yeah, there's, there's different elements. The only actual bug that we've seen is the uh, the box being carried off screen. Yes. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. So, uh, yeah. so okay, so that puts it at a good for bugs. And then we were also looking at uh, the mechanics and controls, right? So what are the mechanics yes. we got? We've got uh, picking up the coins, we've got the yep. spikes, we've got the black uh, enemies, we've got the little green enemies with the strange, long, I don't know, tongues, whatever it is they're doing. Maybe um, a flamethrower type thing? Could be. Um, um. You've got the walls you can't get past, but they don't do much with that. Mm -hmm. There's the shop. Uh, which gives you. Yeah. You've then got the shield and the kind of coin magnet thing. Yeah. So there's a reasonable set of mechanics. I mean, it's not huge. Yeah. Um, and they're all a little bit in isolation, I think. But um, mm. so, what what would satisfactory be for mechanics? Uh, satisfactory is a set of consistent mechanics, and what? I think they are consistent. Yeah, I think so. And what what would good be? Um, good would be a set of complementary mechanics. Yeah, so um, so I, so I mean they they're not. It's not that the mechanics don't go together. It's just that they don't really build on each other or or interact in um, an interesting way. I think the two two of the power ups, the the shield and the coin magnet, I think, um, potentially do interact uh, with the others fairly well. <laughs> um, this maybe comes into the risk reward side of things a bit more. I think. The coin magnet, I do think, though, is kind of a waste. Yes. Because you spend coins to get something that makes it slightly easier to get coins, but also yeah. only temporary. Yeah. Um, but the shield, I think, definitely fits well with um, everything so shield, here. So the shield goes, okay, that's true. Um, but they haven't done an awful lot with them. So, for example, no. the, the walls are constant, they don't vary. Um, you know, you'd expect this not to be straight up and down, but moving around left and right. Um, the enemies are uh, always behave in the same way. Mm. Um, yes. So okay. So for so this was for mechanics, wasn't it? So what would yeah. what would satisfactory be? Say, uh, satisfactory is a set of consistent mechanics, and then good is complementary mechanics. I I think it's probably more satisfactory. Yeah, um, I uh, I think that's fair. So there's nothing. Oh, don't. Um, yeah, um, the controls. Um, mm. There's not much controls. <laughs> no, I can go left and I can go right, but it's snappy and it's effective. Yeah. Um, so I think I think the controls might suffer a bit from the scale of them. So what yeah. what would satisfactory be for controls? Um, so satisfactory is a reasonable set of usable controls. So that the problem here is is not the usable bit; it's the reasonable it's, set. Yeah. So this is the thing we've got. Um, as you said, like they're snappy. I think I think it would be fair to say that you know the controls are smooth and usable. But then, yeah. if we jump down from good to pass, yeah, few or challenging controls. Yeah, I, I, I which think... is an issue we've had in some of the other games as well, where like the controls that are there are very nice, but it's just there's. Yeah. Well, it There's does. Like two controls. It does say few or challenging. So I, I think what yeah. we have here is few controls. Yeah. So it fits in that one, I think. Okay. And, and so that's that... just a just a consequence of the simplicity of their design. Okay, um, so that puts them at a pass for controls. So I think I am speeding up as I'm going down here, aren't I? Yeah. Maybe it's hard to tell. So playing this game, and that's, that, that coming back to the information design, like that's where it might be nice to have yes some kind of background or other features that makes it easier to tell how fast you're going, or even or even like um, a, a like a level thing where where you go through a zone yeah. that speeds you up effectively, and you get to zone you could one, go zone two, a, a kind of you know make the music more intense or faster or something as you speed up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the next section is the brief. So this is how well they've used level design to uh, provide goals, risks, and rewards, how well paced it is, and uh, how good the tutorial is. So let's let's have a look at the um, the pacing to start with then. Sure. So so there is clearly a rise in pace because it's getting faster. Yep. Um, but there's and not much. Those, um, the green enemies come in quite a while after they do. everything else. 
So, so I think I think they've they've, they've definitely got a rise in pacing. Um, yeah. What would satisfactory be for pacing? Uh, so satisfactory is tension clearly rises over time. So if yeah. we wanted to get up to a good, that would be that it rises over time in a coherent pattern, um, which. Mm. Like, so the way the tension rises, we've got what seems to be a gradual increase in speed, and then yeah. half a minute or a minute or so in, they introduce a new enemy. Yes. So, so I mean, I think I think it's definitely rising over time. Whether that counts as a pattern or not, I don't think so. Um, yeah, it's... They've got... They, they, most they, they, features are introduced immediately, and then they have one more a little bit later, and then that's yeah. it, it. Kind of flattens out after that. So again, it's it's about it, it comes down to the simplicity of the design, doesn't it? The design yeah. isn't complex enough for them to introduce other elements later, um, mm. and that would then be a pattern. It's like I said, if you were so so, what we would mean by that? Let's say you went for this zone thing, where you went through the zones, and every time you go through a zone, you speed up, and yeah. maybe there's a new enemy introduced, right? Yeah. Um, then that would be not even necessarily enemies, like any kind of feature. So, like, yes, you could go something that ha you occasionally get in things like this. You could yeah. have a zone where maybe there's like a kind of wind that occasionally blows you over to one direction, and you have yes. to try and fight against it. Yes. Like, or, or a zone where they introduce the fact that the the walls don't go up straight up and down. That they. Yeah. That they, uh... Okay, so I think that's going to be a satisfactory. Uh, yes. So goals, risks, and rewards is interesting. Um, mm. A lot of the games have really struggled with this. They they do have, um, so they they do. Uh, I thought it was gone. So um, <laughs> so the, the goals the goals very straightforward, but it's clear. Just yeah. don't die. Um, go as far as you can. The risks and rewards is interesting because they have one I think, which is this yeah. one now. Right? Do I collect that? At, at, you know, do I risk? Oh, not enough coins. Mm. Um, I think this is this side of things uh, is one of the big issues because um, actually there's there's the one kind of risk or trade off which is you can potentially take some sketchier moves to get coins, yes, um, and then you can buy upgrades, but only one of the upgrades is actually useful. Yes. Um, so so there there is definitely oh, that's interesting. I've started with my shield from. My magnet from last huh. time. Um, that's another bug. Um, hmm. So, what would satisfactory be for goals, risks, and rewards? Satisfactory would be that there is a coherent set of goals, risks, and rewards. I don't. I, I, yeah, I don't think there is a really. A, mm. a, a, there's not so, a big set. There are some. Yeah, like so. Pass would be that there is a limited set of goals, risks, and rewards, and which that, is that sounds right to me. Yeah. Because going down again to Paul would be incoherent or very limited, and I don't think it's quite that bad. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree. So, let's just sort of pass for that. And then we're back to the tutorial, which is sort of where we started. Hey. So, the tutorial, you're right. So, it, it doesn't introduce the, the shop, it doesn't introduce the spikes, it doesn't introduce you to uh, the, the kind of enemies with the spinning things coming out of them. But it does... I think yeah, it's I, fair I, that, um, although they do have that separate tutorial level, I think given that these green enemies are introduced yes, it's fair a little way into there. the main game, I think yeah. that that would be fair. Because the problem is that is the shop, right? They they yeah. really should introduce that. Yeah. Um, so so I think they've they've made an attempt to do it. I, I also think although it's nice to have it as a separate level, it there's not that there was nothing in this where they couldn't have mm. introduced the new elements in the game as you went, also with some kind of inbuilt tutorial, right, to sort of yeah. teach you what was going on. Um, yeah, I mean, even if you started seeing the enemies to either side of the of the white lines, way, away from you, where you're safe, before they appeared inside, right? Yeah. So something like that. So for a tutorial, what would satisfactory be? Uh, so satisfactory is a gradual explanation of gameplay and controls somewhat aligned with play. So I, I don't think, I don't think they do that. So this is this is another one uh, similar to the uh, controls, where given that you know the shop isn't explained, you've got um, down in poor there is some explanation of gameplay and controls, which 
Yes, de um, definitely some. Like they explain some of them, but they don't explain all of them. What so would, that what would a pass be? Passes gradual explanation of gameplay and controls revealed as you play, and some of them are introduced gradually as you play. Some of them are just kind of like thrown at you all in one go, uh, and obviously the shop isn't. It's introduced, but it's never explained. So I feel like it's probably part way between a pour and a pass. I think I'd agree with you. Um, yeah, it's, it's sort of it's one of those things where again and, and again the simplicity is a problem because there isn't that much to introduce, right? Mm. But uh, as I said, just just something just something similar, uh, something simple rather, like like I said, like putting them on the outside of the walls. Um, uh, show, showing you what it looks like before you encounter it, so you understand its behaviour. Yeah. Um, and then the tutorial level really should have covered the shop because that's that's not clear at all, right? Um, okay, let's 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 move on. What's our what's our next one? Uh, so the next one is the core dynamic. Um, so what do we think the core dynamic is? Oh crikey! Well, I guess you survival. Um, I. Uh, I think Collection. it's survival as well. Um, <laughs> but, they uh, also believe it's survival. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, the main thing here is that that score, it just increases over time. The coins don't change it. No. Uh, the number of so, enemies you dodge doesn't change it. It's just how long you're there. So actually, you know what? I, they might do quite well here because there is it's absolutely a collection dynamic, right? But because yeah. of the shop it's in service to the survival yeah um it's not again ne neither of those things neither of them is particularly well developed i mean they're all both quite simple mm. but they are both there and they they work together and it doesn't detract it actually enhances the survival aspect it could be yeah. more effective as you said only one mm. of the power-ups really is a benefit maybe one and a half because the magnet's okay but it doesn't last very long um so this could be an interesting one. So what's good for core dynamic? Uh, so good is a clear core dynamic that is supported by the primary mechanics. And I think it's there. I, I agree. What would excellent be? Uh, excellent is a clear core dynamic that's supported by an integrated set of mechanics. And again, this is where it comes back to, there's not that much going on. So is yes. it like a really an integrated set of mechanics? Yeah, no, I, I, I think there's not, there's not an there's not enough there so mm. although but I, but I think i think it's still achieved the good i think that's mm. uh, the other interesting thing here is if we jump up to the description for prize worthy uh, that's a clear core dynamic that's supported by an integrated set of mechanics yeah. and other supporting dynamics and we've mentioned that they do have the they supporting do. dynamic of collection but not the integrated set so i think maybe like partway between good and excellent maybe because they have that supporting yeah, dynamic that's very fair i think so okay yeah and the last one is feedback ah so what did they what did they say what were they told um so initially they were trying to make the core dynamic collection um but during feedback uh, it was pointed out to them that the game felt much more like an attempt to just not die for as long as possible. <laughs> yes. Uh, so they decided to, and rather than changing it to fit more into collection, they've instead decided that actually, yeah, we should double down on the survival. And so they changed the score to be based on how long you survived and just have the coins as a separate resource rather than the score. So was, which, which we said worked well, yeah. Yeah. Um... It was also uh, the initial plan for the store was that it was going to be something that you accessed in between runs. So once yeah. you die, you're told, hey, you can spend money in the store. Um, and it was suggested that requiring the player to die to access the store, which in theory should be a reward, uh, yeah. kind of, again, would rub up against the survival. So instead they made it so that there was a periodic potential to access the store. 
um, which again I think was a good choice. Yeah, I, I, I quite like the way they respond to their feedback. I mean, I, I don't mm. think they've they've not done an awful lot to kind of interpret it and and uh, kind of, mm. but but they have they have followed it I mean, maybe a little bit. So what what would a what would a good be for feedback? Um, I think before we go on to that, there is one last point of feedback they made, oh, which well, is to do with the importance of tutorial elements. Yeah. So what they did with that is they made a separate tutorial, um, which teaches them how to move the player left and right, uh, how to collect coins, and it's that they say that lastly the player must avoid an enemy and death to be able to proceed, ensuring they understand the basic mechanics. Yeah. I'm. I think they missed the mark there, um, partly because you can actually get through the tutorial without hitting the ball and like it very clearly looks like an enemy it's black it's got red angry eyes but it is possible you could get through it without hitting that and not realize that it's actually a threat you just yes. missed it by accident yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, okay so so what what was good for feedback uh good is the feedback has been addressed and the changes have been successful i think that's where they are Right. Yeah. But, I mean, you could argue that the the tutorial one hasn't been quite so effective, but <clears throat> I think it I think it did improve the game. Mm. And so, yeah, the, the two first pe uh, points of feedback definitely successful. Yeah, definitely. Um, They've done well. An excellent would require interpretation of the feedback, yeah. and that yeah. I think is where they've they've not managed it. Yeah. Um, so so I think that's a it's a nice little game. It's really simple. Um, and I think it's just on the edge of being too simple, but not much. I think they've yeah. added a couple of extra features um, mm -hmm. that that would have made quite a big difference to, to the game <clears throat> and in terms of um, enabling them to better demonstrate pacing, to better include a tutorial, to to really um, you know show uh, a kind of a... in terms of the core dynamic, to show a wider range of things supporting the survival element. So... Yeah. yeah, so a, a good try, and I think actually a good basis for, you know, you could make this quite substantially improve it relatively straightforwardly, I think. So, yeah, good go. All right, shall we move on to the next game? Okay, so our next game is called The Typing Gambit. All oh, right, yeah. here we go. So I've got score, high score, menu... Um, I like the fact they've got a menu. Not quite so keen on the fact that all the all the kind of information elements are on the screen already because it's it yeah feels a little bit strange. But let's go new game. Help us, hero! Our castle is under attack. Oh, I sense a premise coming. There are rumours of a dragon approaching from the west. They have sent their armies to attack us. With the dragon sent their armies. Break their shields by entering the word and pressing space. All right. Thug. <laughs> and you hear a lot you can read and write that well. A hit of sarcasm there. Try to use a boulder to knock them all out. Okay, so I presume I type boulder. <laughs> right. So can I always type boulder? Right, I'm going to behave myself on this one. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll have an experiment later. Freeze. So I presume I now murdered them with Brute and Vandal. Is it is it me or is pressing the space odd? I, I want to press enter. Ooh. Yeah. Take I suppose normally when you're typing words you hit space afterwards. Yeah. So I think when it gets to the point, like if you're getting to the point where there's a lot of enemies and you're going very quickly, it probably is more natural to hit space. Ah, uh, so I've only got Securely so many... Securely alone. So have I only got so many... Ugh. Freeze. Ugh, boulder. Yeah, got them. So, okay, so those those are That's the things awesome. I've got down the bottom. Boulder, freeze, and health. Right. Mortgages? <laughs> what sort of night is that? MTV? Hey, MTV. Oh, I'm not typing the box. It's lost focus. Oh, that is annoying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It seems like that shouldn't be possible. Oh, that's in, uh, really, really irritating. This... Um, I wonder why I did that as well. I didn't click on anything. New game. Yeah, I have no idea. It might be... If you did hit enter, it might be that that automatically defocuses the box. Because of the ah. way that like text boxes normally work in Unity. Well, let's try that. Political. 
enter. No, you're right, it does. That's the problem. Yeah. I suppose you are doing... You know, you're not doing what they wanted you to do, but also that is... It's a very easy mistake to make, and I feel like uh, they... could have had a... could have disabled that at least. There. Made it more forgiving. Break. Jeez. So that's my health at the top. Oh, okay. So wait, what yes. is the little is plus thing down the bottom? That That's that's how many times I can hit health. All <laughs> you're going to hear on the video is me typing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to man type. Uh, adequate. Like... I like Are they the kind of word association stuff you get out of this. So your health bar appears to have gone up. All right, let, let's 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 make some mistakes here. So I'll just let a couple go. Um. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. So I guess we haven't been introduced to whatever the little cross is. Hey. Let's, oh, there we go. That was oh, I was focus to enter it. again. Ah, yeah, it's so easily done. All right, all right. Mm. So um, this is one of those games where it's going to be almost impossible for me to have a conversation with you while I'm playing. <laughs> right. So so let's um, uh, so I'm I'm going to play badly because I'm not really going to be paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay. Um, let's start so let's start with information design. So, um. It took us a second to work out exactly what was happening, but it does appear that all the key information is shown. Yeah, we've got the health bar at the top, which I think works quite well, actually. We've got the score in the left-hand corner and the high score. That's too small. There's no way you can see that. And also, <clears throat> there's no... Uh, it's in, like, like how, What do I get? for? Do I get more for longer words? What, what's the score I get? Uh, there should be some indication, so, I think, of when I, when I, I get think... score, what I get, right? I think talking, I don't know if I actually spoke to him or not, but I think from seeing it in the labs, the, um, the enemies with longer words travel slower. Um, and I think it might just be that so the Dane's score is just how many you kill. That was, yeah, so that, that... Oh, okay, they are worth a lot more. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so Horn is worth 300, look. Sage is 300. <laughs> Um, if I so, um, vacations. Oh, didn't they? Oh no, it's gone. Oh dear. Um, so I think I think there's a there's an information design problem to do with mm. the, the 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 value, and the reason that matters is because you're having to make choices about which power ups to use at whatever type, and also what you're going to go for, right? So yes. the fact that they don't, I mean, you can figure it out, but only by watching the score go up. So, so, so I think there's there's a lack of feedback going on there. Um, the information design, it's definitely not great. I think this also points to what might potentially be a larger issue with the core dynamic. Um, yes. But yeah, the that tiny little text in the top left, it's not great. And also, I think the way the health bar works, where it's it's right at the top and also the same it shrinks from both sides at once. I don't think that's super it's, helpful. It's also the same. I just realised it's also became the same colour as the um, the grass. Yeah. Um, so I don't think the information design is good, but they do show all of the information, even if it's not the easiest to. Yeah, it's not terrible. Um, notice. So what would satisfactory be? Uh, satisfactory is most key information is shown. And what would, um, I guess, and, pass be? Uh, so pass is some attempted information design. Um, and going the other way, good is that all key information is shown. And... Yeah. Um, it is all shown, but it's not It's not shown well. No. Um... So sorry, what did you say? This is I told you. If I'm typing, I won't be able to type. To to <laughs> so what was the pass? Pass is some attempted information design. And satisfactory is most key information. And then good is all key information is shown. And excellent is all key information is shown clearly. It's probably it's probably definitely not an excellent. It's probably a satisfactory. I think 
you know, the, the key information is all on the screen. It's just, just there's one or two bits missing, and it's not as clear as it could be. So, yeah. Um, I mean, if it's if it's mainly an issue of clarity, then I think that actually puts them in a good. Because the only difference between good and excellent is that it's shown clearly in yeah, excellent. Yeah. But, 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 we, but we said that there's some information that you don't get, like the value of that's the, fair. those kind of things. So, um, and, that, and that's important for the, for the choices. Okay, so yeah. okay. so I think, between satisfactory and good or satisfactory? I think they hit the satisfactory okay. level. Yeah. Um, graphics. Graphics. Um, well, I mean, they've gone for this pixel art thing, which is kind of okay, I guess, but it doesn't it does not mesh with the rest of it no you've got this kind of like gradual fade on the grass and then like no. flat colors everywhere else so i th i think so... there's a bit of a clash i mean they're clear you can you can see what's going on mm -hmm. um but yeah aesthetically it's it's it, no, i would i wouldn't say it's consistent Haven't it's not this... consistent i would also say that i mean this also partly works in information design the choice of colors i think is really bad like yeah. the kind of brown boxes with red text mm -hmm. is not good and, and having the screen. text float directly over the enemies means that when they're in like enemies are in front of each other you just can't read the text yeah yeah so i think yeah so and, inconsistent and that, that graphics would put us at a poor um below poor we have inconsistent and poorly chosen graphics and i it might be there Because then is also, it, if you yeah. see, like, the symbol for the boulder is almost indistinguishable from the it background there. It is. Um, and what would, a, what would a pass be, just so we know that what the thing that pushes them over there? Uh, a pass is consistent, but poorly chosen graphics. Yeah, I I, I think, I, I don't think I'd put them, mm, I don't think I'd put them at a pass, but I think, I think a poor is reasonable for what they've got. Because um, cause it's still... <laughs> The poor choices they have—they're not terrible choices. You can still read them. It's just they're, they're, they're you know, that red text is quite hard to to, to read. So yeah, I, I reckon a poor. I suppose that I guess that also is part of the issues of the information design that we have already yeah, yeah. discussed. So okay, so we'll put them in a poor for graphics. Yeah. Audio. Um, so I know that I know that it's loud, but I can't hear it myself. So. <laughs> So there's no sound effects, um, which is a shame. Because mm. dismissing them with a satisfying arg would be quite useful. Um, um, and if there's no sound oh, effects, then at most it can be a past. Um, so yeah, there's no sound effects. But the, but the um, the music is kind of like medieval type, you know, music. You'd imagine actually playing in um, playing in a kind of a lord's castle or something like that. So. Um, so, the the music is fine and fits, but there's no sound effects. So what would a what would a, would, a, a pass be or a satisfactory say? So satisfactory is some audio effects and music. So, so they cool. haven't managed cool. that. So, pass is some audio effects or music. Yeah. Uh, the one below that is little and poorly chosen audio. Yeah, no, it's better than that. I, I and, it's, a, it's a pass, I think. Well, I mean, I guess the question I have, obviously, I can't hear the music, but. I think, does the music fit well with like the kind of the rest of the tone of the game and the well, kind of dynamic the, the of it? The interesting thing there is it depends what you think that is, because it fits with the with the with the the premise and it fits with the graphics, right? So we've mm. got the dragon, we've got boulders, we've got uh, knights attacking us, right? And um, uh, you know, me medieval weapons. It fits all that. It doesn't fit the words. But, but I think the problem is, is it's not that the the music doesn't fit the game; it's that the words don't fit the game, and you know the mechanic doesn't fit. True. The game, right? I also I think also like, um, again like I don't I can't actually hear the music, so I don't know what it's like. Yeah. But also like you know you're in I mean what feels to me very clearly like a survival game. Yes. Um, and the pace of it is quite rapid. Well, like you're constantly yeah. typing. There's well, new enemies coming yeah. in, and. Well, 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 we'll get to the pacing stuff later, but the 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 the, pro the problem is is that the theme of the game is is inconsistent, right? Yeah. Either you kept this theme and what you're typing is essentially incantations, 
in which case you have to be quite careful about the the, the words you select. Mm. Or if you want to have a kind of fairly random set of words and they're modern words, then it should be a different kind of setting. You know, make the office a set, uh, make it an office setting, right? And what you're doing is you're getting kind of, um, you know, you're, you're playing a, an administrator desperately trying to keep on top of their paperwork, right? And the paperwork comes in from the left, and you have to quickly type what it says in on it. And there's like a, yeah, or or, or or you know, be topical, make it an Amazon factory worker, and it's a conveyor belt with packages, <laughs> right? With names of places, and your job is to type in the name of the place as quickly as possible. Right, and if you get it right, it gets stamped and off it goes. And if you get it wrong, it goes in the bin and you get dot money. Right, something like that. Yeah, yes, that, that and... would be thematically consistent. But typing, um, you know, democracy as a medieval knight charges towards you is is odd. Right? Mm. It just kind of. So anyway, um, so I think, okay, I think so... so I think the music is consistent. The problem is the, me- the 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 kind of that kind of mean mechanic of the game isn't consistent. But the music's okay. Okay, so saying it's a pass for I, the audio. I think it's a pass for the audio. All right. Um, the next part, uh, meaningful play. We're looking at the mechanics, the controls, yeah. and bugs. So the controls, uh, we've so, already touched on that. So the controls, amazingly, given given what they are, are problem are a problem, right? Because yeah. Because it, losing focus is is lethal, basically. Mm. Um, so, I think if we start with a pass, then a pass is few or challenging controls. Yeah, the controls um, are definitely challenging. What what would yeah. be what would be a poor? A poor would be limited or difficult controls. Um, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't go as far as saying the controls are difficult. Right, they're, they're no. just challenging because if you're not careful, you lose focus. So the so, question then is: yeah. um, so the only control is you type in the box, you get a space. Yes, that's true. The question then is whether you count things like typing the word boulder as a separate command, like I, I, c- control to yeah. just typing out the name <laughs> on the notes. I think in this case you kind of have to, right? So, so I can type boulder, I can type freeze, I can type that at all, um, and you can type health. So you've got kind of three different controls as well as the attack thing. So I mean, so what was a pass? It said uh, few or challenging controls. Yeah. I so for me there are few controls and they're quite and one of them is well no all of them are quite can be quite challenging but it it's not disastrous. Mm-hmm. So I think I'd put it at a pass. I'd be tempted to say maybe put it between pass and poor because it's not few or challenging. It's both few and challenging. So what was poor um, again? Uh, poor is limited or difficult, so uh, it's not that yeah, bad. But I think maybe put them part between them. Okay, that's reasonable. You're right; it is both things together. Okay. Um, so, what are our mechanics? So, what are the mechanics? The mechanics is I type in a box and destroy something, or activate a boulder, or freeze, or get health. Yeah. So it's a it's a relatively small set of mechanics, but they mm. sort of go together. So it's a consistent but small set of mechanics. So I don't know where that fits okay. on that. Uh, so a, con- a set of consistent mechanics would be satisfactory. Um, so pass through to good is a set of mechanics based on how well they go together. Yeah. Um, we have up at excellent requires a wide set of mechanics, so it definitely isn't there. Yeah. Uh, if we go down to poor, that is few mechanics. So the question is, is the set of mechanics is it a set of mechanics or is it few mechanics well and I, I, it's a small set say. it's sort of so what what was the what what is the what, what are those class styles the same um see so we've got from poor we've got few mechanics moving up to a set of inconsistent mechanics up to a set of consistent mechanics they're definitely consistent I'd yeah. be tempted to say that it isn't really a full set. No, no. But I, I, but it's not. So what would a, that's a pass, right? So um, so so satisfactory is a set of consistent mechanics, and then poor is few mechanics. So what's pass? Uh, a set of inconsistent mechanics, which is like oh, okay, it's yeah. not inconsistent, but it's also not really a full set. So it's still still at that level, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. I think it's got characteristics from. Both satisfactory and and poor, so stick it at the pass level, I think, and that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Bugs. Um, uh, unless I don't you think we've seen unless any. you count the hitting enter as a bug. Um, 
we've already uh, penalised them for that yeah, in controls, you're, you're so right. I don't think that would be fair. Um, otherwise, it, it seems to be... It seems to oh. work. Um, so then... You know, I've got my freeze control. Um, so then the question is, how complex is the game? Oops. I, I don't <laughs> think it's that complex. No. Um, it's not trivial, though. What would a satisfactory be? Uh, a satisfactory is game is reasonably complex, but there are minor bugs. So yeah, so so there aren't any bugs. So so if it was mm. no bugs, that would normally be excellent, right? Yeah. Um, so Trying to activate the boulder now. Yeah, it doesn't let me do it. Yeah, no no obvious bugs would be excellent, but I'm not I'm not sure if it quite meets reasonably complex. Spanking. Um, where like if got, we go down where to they got their list from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I think they may well have just taken like the the standard Unix dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, um, yeah. So um, if we, like if we drop down to pass, uh, that's the game is simple, or there are serious bugs. No, it's definitely I, not serious no, bugs. But I, like, I don't, I don't. I mean, it's it's not that complex, but it, but mm. there is stuff going on here, right? So I mean, for me. For me, um, normally, if it if it was complex and had no bugs, it would be it would be excellent, right? Mm -hmm. So it, so we can forget about the bugs thing, and it's just down to the complexity of the game, really. Yeah. So so satisfactory is what? Sorry, it was. Uh, game is reasonably complex, but there are minor bugs. Okay. Um, and uh, what was uh, pass? Game is simple, or there are f serious bugs. So, okay. so I, I, I'd be tempted to say, look, we're kind of there aren't serious bugs. It also feels a bit better than simple, but it's not quite reasonably. You know, it's it's mm. it's probably a satisfactory, right? I would say it's reasonably complex, um, but there there are no there yeah. are no bugs. But it's just limited at that at that level. There's, there's there's enough going on here, right? Okay, yeah, I think that's fair. Um, given yeah, it's it's a little bit more than simple. All right. So next we have the brief. So uh, how are the goals, risks, and rewards? What's the pacing like? And how good was the tutorial? So uh, what should we look at first? Um, goals, risks, and rewards. I, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, goals are nice and clear. Th there are there are some choices to make to be made in terms of when do I activate the mm. power ups. There's also, um, as we discovered, the more difficult words give you a higher score. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that counts as kind of a risk reward thing because you do need to type all of them anyway. It's not like you can choose yeah. to ignore them really. Like you, you you're just I, supposed to clear all of them. But when I when I do, so if I just lose some health here, um, so if I do lot, so every time I get one right, Lafayette, you're having a laugh. Um, <laughs> So if I um, <laughs> if I if I type some, I do get some health back, but not as much as I lose if I don't type one. Okay. Um, okay. Well, if you get, given that you get health back for clearing them, I guess then yeah, you, there is kind, kind of, of a risk. You can then. kind of choose to let them go, like oh, I can just I can just give up on a word. So I I think there's sort of a you know a, a limited. Oh, I think quite good. Yeah. There. So if we had a limited set of goals, risks, and rewards, ah, that would put them at a pass. Um, to get up to satisfactory, yeah, satisfactory, they'd need a coherent set of goals, risks, and rewards. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. Is it is is it coherent? I think um, the main thing with that is if we're assuming that the. Uh, the core dynamic is survival for now. Yeah. Um, having part of that risk reward being the score you get rather than like the time that you've survived, I think it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mesh with the game as a whole. Yeah. Or at least with the goal, which in theory yeah. I mean, is we'll get, surviving. We'll, we'll, well, we'll get onto the core dynamic, right? Um, yeah. But you, you're right that they, they kind of interact. Um, because because what are you risking, right? Are you risking score? Are you risking survival? Or so I, yeah. I I think it's a bit confused. I mean I I wouldn't say. So what was what was pass again? It was uh, a limited set of goals, risks, and rewards. Yeah, I mean there's there's stuff going on. It's just the 
Halfway between them, then? Halfway between the two. It's just not quite coherent, yeah. enough, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pacing. pacing. Um, now, pacing is... I, is there any pacing? I... There I, is, like, variation in how many enemies are on screen, but it doesn't seem to have any kind of... They did. They did go. The, they did go at the beginning about a, a dragon that might come along. So, although we haven't seen, <laughs> maybe if 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 I was uh, able to actually get a bit further in, we'd see we'd see a kind of a you know a, mm. a big bad appear. I have to type a sentence or something. I don't know, but um, or perhaps like a it, series of words. But it's yeah, not constant. It's not like they're no. always just sending here's one enemy or here's two enemies. It's it changes, but it's not. There's no yeah. kind of reasoning. I, I I don't think they've got a, a rise in pacing. What would a pass be for pacing? Uh, so a pass's tension somewhat rises over time. Um, I don't if we go down does. to a paw, we have variations in tensing, t yes. var variations in tension, but no coherent pattern. And that's what we've which got. Which yeah. I think is yeah. That's a perfect description of what we have here, isn't it? Which takes us on to the tutorial. Um, so let us replay yep. the tutorial. So tutorial, um, you know, has some text that appears, tells us what to do, gives us a. Yeah. They've sent their army, so I know we've to defeat the staff. And then it takes me through doing the three things. It doesn't actually tell me, so it tells me to type villain, right? So I do mm. that. Um, and then then this comes up, right? It says use a boulder to knock them out, right? But yeah. And then it shows me these. So when I first played this game, I actually didn't type boulder. I typed villain, and then it didn't work, right? And I was like, why doesn't that work? I got really stuck. And and actually, I, I, I hadn't, I'd forgotten what it said, so I couldn't progress now. I was stuck. So so I think there's a, there's a slight problem in... And the other thing is that when you do type boulder, and the mm. boulder comes along, um, look what happens down the bottom. It says three three three, right? Yeah. And there's no indication, right? So. Although it has given us an extra freeze. Ah, there. the freeze word. So maybe it took it down beforehand. So what I was expecting is mm -hmm. is it to point out that I only had three boulders. So I, yeah. I, so I, I think it's kind of it it it's not bad. Um, it's kind of they, it is taking me through it, but it's just they, not giving me quite. Mm. You know, um, and the health, right? You've taken some damage, but then it doesn't tell me that that's. And, and also, nothing's happened for me to take damage. Yeah. So I haven't learned that things going it's, off the screen causes me damage, right? They're they're attempting, but not doing really a great job of explaining yeah. things. Yeah. Um. So if we if we have a look at what we've got here, so if we uh, look at pass, um, what we have is a gradual explanation of gameplay and controls revealed as you play, and. They haven't really done this because you're not playing at the moment. It's just like, oh look, this is a situation. Fix it. Okay, now we're yeah. doing something else. Um, and yeah. like you know, for the boulder, they pin all the enemies in place, and you can't clear them normally. Like it's not in normal play. Yeah. Um, a paw would be some explanation of gameplay and controls, which they've definitely done. They've definitely done that. I, I'm wondering whether Paul's a bit harsh, given that they do have a little bit of progression within the tutorial itself, and they take you through it. Yeah. So what would like, pass, what would pass be again? A gradual explanation of gameplay and controls revealed as you play. So I think that that the fact they haven't really explained everything, and the fact it's not done during play, I think they're just about like they're just missing the pass. Yeah. Um, they're just a little bit below that. I, I I think, given that they've got that they they talk you through the tutorial, and that mm. and that in a sense is as is as you as you play. It's not just dumped on you. I think we should they they should be at the pass level. I think. Mm. But then, like, the other side of that is again like there's there's parts of the tutorial which arguably actively teach you the wrong thing. Like, for instance, as you said, you go to type villain and it doesn't do anything. So you, yeah, there's true. teaching you like, oh, that's, that's not how it works. That's so true. I think like put them at the just Half below pass, but not between, as bad as poor. Between the two, between the two. Then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. you're, you're right. Okay, core dynamic. Um, we've, we've brought this up already. Uh, what do we think the core dynamic is? 
Because I'm actually less sure than uh, when I started. Well, I I mean, it feels like survival. Mm. Um. So, the, but 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 is it destruction? Um, that, that's the thing. Dave said it's survival, but as so we've they, talked more, yeah. seen what's going on, I think it might. I don't know if it is destruction, but it's definitely rubbing up quite close against the re- it. I'm not sure the, that it is. And the reason is the high survival. score, right? The reason's the yeah. high score. So the high score says this is a destruction game. Mm. You get scores for destroying stuff, and the survival element is just so you can destroy more stuff, right? Yeah. Um, but and they even actively encourage you to sometimes take damage to yes. get more points destroying things. But the problem is, is that because you're constantly on the back foot and you're not empowered, it doesn't have the feel of a destruction game. Yeah, it it, it has the feel of a, a desperate survival game. <laughs> so I I think they've remixed it up. What what did they say? They they said it's survival. Yeah. So if it was um, survival, then. Um, yeah, they, they should have just had a uh, they should have had a timer basically. Yeah. Um, so if we look at the mark scheme, yeah. Uh, at a pass, we have an attempt at a core dynamic, but not well supported by the primary mechanics. Um, that, that feels about right, actually. Yeah. If to get up to a satisfactory, they need a clear core dynamic that is partially supported by the primary mechanics. And you know, yeah, I think know, it's, you know, it's just a bit too confused. Yeah, it is. Although, yeah, maybe, maybe the pass is a bit harsh. Um, so what's the pass again? It was an attempt at a core dynamic, but not, not well much. supported by the primary mechanics. See, I, I, I think that the, I think it's not that it isn't supported. I think that it's confused. So, okay. so I would put it between the two. It's that like, seems fair. You know, bits of it support the mechanic just fine. It's just bits of it, su- sorry, the dynamic just fine. Just bits of it support something else. Um, sure. And and then lastly, I guess, for well, feedback. So what do they say for feedback? Yes. These, no, this is the wrong notes. Okay, so. Um, so uh, we've got two bits of feedback here. The, the first part is that the overall idea is too simple yeah. and it the game is too short. Um, so they say they introduced power-ups uh, that give the user more avenues to play and uh, right, okay. added the separate tutorial to flesh it out, which definitely, I don't... Definitely, if they hadn't got the power-ups, it would be way too simple. Yeah, yeah, like, it's helped, but I don't think they've really... They fully, I don't think they fully addressed the problem. No. Um, yeah. Um, the second part is to give uh, was that they should add more mechanics to give the player agency over their actions. Yeah. Um, so this this in a sense was okay. what, what we were saying about the um, uh, about the power ups, right? Because that's what that's mm. what those are the choices you have. Right? So I'm I'm here and I'm thinking to myself, should I use a power up? Should I use a power up? Um, okay, so what they've said here is, since this initial idea, because of the feedback, they added a health system, increasing difficulty tied to a day-night cycle, which is interesting because we didn't haven't that experienced that really. I did notice that the it was going through a cycle. The colours were going through a cycle. Yeah, um, but it didn't seem to have any effect on the difficulty. No, although um, there are multiple varieties of enemies, which there are different colors and there is definitely a variation on like how long the words are uh and apparently there is a final boss fight during the fifth night um before the game continues on forever so if if we make it through five nights apparently there will be a boss um Ah. so they say this gives the player more to manage and they have to use their power-ups but i'm not sure any of that actually adds agency Well, it, like, it, it it does a little bit because it's about it's about giving you choices, right? Um, so do you know what? Now now they've said that, I am noticing that that it's a bit less hectic during the day. <laughs> uh, hmm. But yeah, can't be all day. Um, yeah. Okay. I so. Think- like they've made an attempt to respond to both of these, but I don't think they've been very successful on either oh, of no. them. 
Night three. They've had some success, but it's not. Yeah. They've not quite nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also don't know what their playtesting was like, but that's the furthest I've got, and I was, mm. I was got a bit distracted at the end, but I was kind of trying. I got to I got to night three, so we haven't got anywhere near the the end boss bit. Um, yeah. What would satisfactory be? Sorry for the feedback. Uh, satisfactory would be feedback was addressed and the changes have been somewhat successful. So I, um, I think it's kind of there, isn't it? They've. they've I would they've, argue maybe it's like because I think at the, a pass. I think the early, but the early ones have definitely been successful, right? Adding in those those power ups has added an awful lot to the game. It's added, it's given you choices. Yeah. It's it's um. I mean the. the 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 problem is they've not they've not used them particularly effectively. So you know you, no. you, you just start off with all your powers in place, right? Whereas you know one of the ways to, to make the game feel like it's getting more complex is is by giving you more choices as you go through. So perhaps introducing the power ups over you know you get a new power up each night, for example, for the first mm. three nights, right? Um, that that might feel like it's um, uh, you know helping with the progress. So that there's things they could have done more effectively, but that bit did work, right? I, I know what you mean about the the final point, but yeah, I, I I still kind of feel that those earlier things were effective. I think yeah, definitely in terms of like adding complexity and more kind of scope to the game, they've done well. Yeah. But the main thing here is the the player agency. I yeah. still feel like there is very little agency in here and they've no, not it is, it is just the, the, the steps they took that they've said they took to increase the agency are like they've added a boss fight and some more varieties of enemy that yeah. what, what would there they... is technically more choices to make but it's there yeah. still seems like there's very little actual so, agency so what, would a, what would a pass be pass would be that feedback was addressed and changes have had limited success so okay so we some have worked some some, some have yeah. partially worked and some have had limited so put them in between the two they've, okay. they've made some That's changes awesome. some are more effective than others um none of them fully addressed the problem um yeah so yeah between the two it's a it's a it's a okay. nice it's a it's a nice idea um this guy I, I think a kind of like a typing style game but um a little bit more coherence in the theme and a little mm. bit more imagination about how to give the player that agency and to, to, to do things like increase the pacing i think would have made it quite a lot better but um yeah good 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 idea though right that's the last game for this video so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video